Hey, what's up? Today, I want to share how you can install the FDroid and the EuroS stores on your phone. And so if you're interested with free and open source softwares, or if you want to avoid Google data collections and these things, especially for your phone, then this video could be for you. So let's go right in. All right, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about is what exactly is FDroid. And basically FDroid is uh, an alternative app store for Android devices that is kind of similar to uh, the Google Play Store. But the unique difference with FDroid is that, first of all, the app store in itself is free and open source and the application that are hosted on this store are completely free and open source. And so basically you can download this app store here and it's completely free and open source. You don't need any account. You don't have to pay for anything. And that's true for the store, but also for all the applications and all the apps that are within the the application and the store. And so the second thing that I wanted to talk about is what is the Aurora store. And the Aurora store is also another uh, app store that you can download and you can that you can use. It's also free and open source. And so the unique difference with this store here is that you can download the apps from the Google Play Store without having a Google account. And so basically you can have access to all these applications and all these apps uh, without having an account. So it is completely anonymous. So you don't have to register and you don't have to log into an account. And so the main reason why you might want to use these app store here is that you're able to use and download Android applications that are free and open source or that are not relying on Google services. And so by using these app stores and these applications, you get to avoid Google's tracking and Google data collections, which basically gives you more privacy, more freedom, and possibly more security also if you're being careful. All right, so right now I'm, go I'm going to show you how you can install both of these app stores because it can be a little bit tricky because these app stores and these apps are not available on the regular Google Play stores. And so you kind of have to do a bunch of gimmicks in order to install them and to use them. And so that's what I'm going to show you right now. And so the first one that we're going to install is uh, the FDroid uh, app store. And to download this app, uh, you basically need to you basically need your phone, obviously, and you also need a web browser on your phone. And so in my case, I'm using the Brave browser, but you can use any browser that you want. So uh, you might be using uh, Google Chrome or you might be using Firefox, you might be using Edge or whatever, but you just need a web browser, okay? And so the first thing that you want to do is basically open your web browser on your phone. And the second thing that you want to do is basically go on the FDroid uh, webpage which is fdroid.org, you just go on this website here. And so you basically have to do this on your phone, okay? You cannot do this on your computer or whatever, because from here, we're going to download and install the fdroid from here. And so yes, the file might be harmful or whatever, because we're basically downloading the APK. And so we want to download anyway here. Okay, so when this is done, we can simply uh, slide down this thing and simply open uh, the, the APK. And so the only thing here is that you have to enable the uh, install unknown apps for your web browser. So in this case, Brave is telling me that I have to enable this thing. So what it, what it does here is that it allows me to download and install the APK. So here I'm simply going to click install and now it is installing FDroid. And so there you go. Now it's uh, installed. So now I can open it. Now it's updating repositories. And so right now, here we go. So I just installed the FDroid uh, app here. And so here I can just make sure that I can update it. Okay, I'm gonna select that. 
And since this is an app store, I also have to make sure that I can install unknown apps. So in this case, I'm also going to enable allow from, from this source. Now I'm simply going to update the FDroid app. And so there you go. Now I have the uh, FDroid app store and though and basically all of those apps here that we can see are all free and open source. And for example, I just knew that right here, I have Joplin, for example, that I'm using for my notes or whatever. And so all these apps here are free and open source. And so that's pretty cool. The only thing that I would recommend here is that once you're done uh, installing the FDRED store, I would recommend that you go into the app info, you go into the app info and you make sure that you disallow uh, the unknown apps here just just for security because now that we installed the FDroid app we no longer need this permission to be enabled so it's just a little security here and so once we've done that once we have the FDroid app what we can do is that we can also install the Aurora store but you see we can install it from the FDroid store so what we can do here is that we can go back on the FDroid and we can search for Aurora store and so here we have it Aurora store it's uh, an alternative to uh, Google Play so I can just install that and again to install this app store you also have to make sure that you have the install from unknown source because it's, it's installing the APK and so there you go now I can go here and so I can just go next uh, I'm just gonna skip all that for now uh, you see right here I can log in using Google or I can also use anonymous so in this case I'm going simply going to select anonymous and so from here you have access to a bunch of apps and a bunch of games but the difference with the Aurora store is that uh, compared to the Google Play store I don't have to log in I mean yes you can log in if you want but you can also use the app store anonymously which the Google Play stores doesn't really allow so that's pretty cool so in the end, if you're trying to prioritize free and open source apps, or if you want to limit the Google services on your phone, then you could try installing the FDroid uh, App Store, or maybe you want to use the Aurora uh, App Store. And FDroid, for, uh, in this case, only hosts free and open source apps. The Aurora stores uh, allows you to have access to the Google Play stores apps but you don't have to log in to the google service or whatever and so you can browse the apps and you can download the apps uh, anonymously and to be honest as of right now i'm still using the google play stores and yes i installed these app store here but i haven't tried to install any apps yet uh, from these stores and so i don't really know if these apps are actually useful because most of the time uh, i can use and i can find free and open source uh, applications uh, from the normal Google Play Store and so for example I'm using Joplin but Joplin is also available on the Google Play Store and so yes you can use FDRED to install Joplin but you know it's just I could, it's simpler for me to I just think that it's simpler to use the Google Play Store I don't know that being said, I just think that it's very interesting that these apps here are some sort of alternatives to, to the Google Play Store. And so you don't have to rely on Google. And so we'll see in the future if these apps actually become relevant or if they're needed. But I just find it interesting that these app stores are available. And so that's pretty much it for this video. And uh, I hope that this video was helpful to you. And if this video was valuable to you, you could consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And you can also leave a comment below because I will answer to all of your questions and all your comments. And your thoughts could also be valuable to other people. So that's pretty much it for this video, okay? Peace.